Hello, I'm Caleb Washapel, and this is your Daily Barometer News Blast. Trenton Joyner, sophomore here at Oregon State, puts in hard work and effort into his position as a peer facilitator at the Lonnie B. Harris Black Cultural Center. Joyner is also the student-elected vice president for the Black Student Union and a double major in bioengineering and kinesiology. Joyner has really come into his own last year and a half at the Cultural Center. I got involved with the Black Cultural Center as a freshman. I started coming up here, just doing work, hanging out, and I realized what kind of a space it was and how comfortable I felt here through being in the community here at the Black Cultural Center. It really gave me a lot of confidence. It let me know that there were other people like me who were going through the same things I was going through, interested in the same things that I was interested in and that I could really relate to on a very personal level. I think that being in this community and then also working here at the BCC has really allowed me to gain confidence and just be able to enjoy the whole college experience and be able to branch out and do things that otherwise I wouldn't have if I hadn't gotten involved. Yesterday morning, a meeting took place at the Women's Building that discussed some of the complications of refugee health care overseas. Dr. Akihiro Shida, UNRWA Health Director, was present during the meeting to discuss issues facing the UNRWA. The Oregon State women's basketball team will be traveling to the Grand Canyon State of Arizona to play both Arizona State and Arizona this weekend. Arizona State has lost three in a row coming off of a four-game road trip, but are 7-3 and three at home this season and currently ranked 23rd in the nation. ASU presents a defensive challenge for the Beavers, trailing only Oregon State for fewest points allowed per game in the Pac-12. For OSU senior guard Sydney Weiss, the trip will be her first return to Arizona State since a heartbreaking loss in 2014 during her freshman year. Arizona has struggled of late, losing their last four in a row on the road. Fueled by a high-scoring backcourt, the Wildcats rely on production from their senior guards who average 28 of Arizona's 65 points per game. They're going to be very physical with you, and to their credit, I mean, it works for them. And so um, that's the number one thing. It's like every pass is challenged. Every mm -hmm. dribble is challenged. I know it's going to be a tough one. You know, I know they're coming off losses, and so they'll, they've had probably a great week of practice, I would assume, and, and so they'll be highly motivated, you know, going to that game. So it'll be a, it'll be a tough game. Oregon State Wrestling looks to keep momentum going in conference play this week. Fresh off a win over the Stanford Cardinal, the Beavers travel to Boise to face the Broncos tomorrow for their second Pac-12 match of the season. Right after, the Beavs come back home to Corvallis for a dual meet with Arizona State Sunday afternoon. Tomorrow's meet will start at 6 p.m., followed by Sunday's meet starting at 1 p.m. in Gill. For complete stories from today's news blast, visit our website at orangemedianetwork.com, follow us on social media, and make sure to pick up an issue of this week's Daily Barometer in the newsstands this week. From all of us here at Orange Media Network, my name is Caleb LaChapelle. Thank you for watching.